This snippet is Using Dynamic Web Templates in Expression Web. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll discover how to generate additional pages in the site using Dynamic Web Templates. Dynamic Web Templates allow you to generate additional HTML pages based off an original template. You'll also learn how to define areas of your web page as editable or non-editable. This can be useful if you need to prevent someone from modifying sections of your layout. So we'll get started here by defining our site. I'll choose Site, Open Site, click Browse, and then I'm going to navigate to this folder using Dynamic Web Templates and locate the subfolder Lucerne Site and click Open. I'll click Open one more time. Once this appears, we'll see our site files within the Site View panel and the folder list. Let's go ahead and review what we're looking at here. I'm going to double click my default.html page, and then I'm going to choose File, Preview in Browser. And once the page appears, we can look at what we're working with. In the very top half of the section, we have our Silverlight Navigation and Slideshow. So this top section is all Silverlight Navigation, and then the bottom half is our HTML. So here is our dilemma. Our Silverlight Navigation refers to sections such as About Us, Services, News, and more. If we close this browser and go back to our site panel, we can see that the only page that we're working with is default.html. Well, we need to generate the other pages associated with the site. In order to do this, we're going to create a template. Now, one thing, if this is the first time you've created templates, there's one thing you need to do first, and that's choose Site, Site Settings, and then check this box, Maintain the site using hidden metadata files. Then click OK, click Yes, and now you're ready to go. Double click on default.html again, and then choose File, Save As. In the Save As window, click on the Save As Type menu and choose Dynamic Web Template. Go ahead and click Save. And if you look carefully, you can now see that this file is labeled default.dwt. So this is a dynamic web template, and we can now generate additional files based on this one. However, we need to do one more thing before we do that. One of the features of templates is the ability to label sections of your page as editable or non-editable. For example, we want the bottom half of our page to be editable because we're going to be generating new pages. However, perhaps we don't want the top half to be editable because that's always going to stay the same. So in order to do this, go ahead and click once within this section called Welcome. And at the very top of the screen, click on this tag Div Welcome Block. This will select the entire section. Now you'll want to choose Format, Dynamic Web Template, Manage Editable Regions. We now need to label this region. I'll go ahead and call this Welcome. And then I'll click Add. I'll go ahead and close this, and we now need to add another section. So click within the News column anywhere. And then go to the very top of your screen and click on this section, Div Sidebar. So this selects the entire sidebar region, and we want to do the same thing. Format. Dynamic Web Template, Manage Editable Regions, and we'll call this Sidebar. Now go ahead and click Add, and then Close. So what this will do is allow these sections to be editable on all of our pages. Now we'll go ahead and create new pages based on this template. Let's choose File, Save. Now we can choose File, New, and then this option, Create from Dynamic Web Template. We're being asked which template we want to use. Well, we want to use this one labeled default. And now we'll click open. This file is now updated, and we'll go ahead and close it. And you can see that it's labeled untitled1.html. But what we now need to do is make sure that we save this so that the navigation links correctly. I happen to know the first one here. I'm going to choose File, Save. And I'm going to label this about and then click Save. So we have multiple other pages associated with this Silverlight file. Now I'm going to do one thing very quickly here just to show you some behind the scenes action in Expression Blend. Ideally, a web designer would be supplied with all of the HTML files that they need to create. However, this is not always the case, so I'm going to show you a little trick right now. So what I've quickly done here is jumped into the project file in Expression Blend for this Silverlight navigation. Within this project, I'm going to double-click on this file, mainpage.xaml.cs. 
And within this page, I can see all of the hyperlinks that are being created by the Silverlight navigation. So things such as default.html, about, services, and more. So this is just a little trick. If you ever have a file like this where you're provided with the blend project but not your HTML links, you can always reverse engineer to figure out what they are. However, I'll now Alt-Tab back to Expression Web. And I'm now going to generate additional pages based on my template. So I'll choose File, New, Create from Dynamic Web Template. I'll click on my default template. And I'll save this one as services.html. I'm going to go ahead and generate my additional files, and I'll return as soon as I'm done. So I'm now done creating the pages associated with my file. So I have here about.html, services, news, and others. I'll go ahead and open one of these within my browser, in this case, contact.html. And we can now see that we have our Silverlight navigation once again. However, all of our sections now will link to the appropriate page. So if I click on my FAC page or my services page, you can see that I'm navigating to each one. In this snippet, you learned a little bit about creating dynamic web templates in Expression Web. Thank you for now. This is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.